Hi, my name is Charlotte, and this channel is about my attempt to become moderately competent at drawing. This year I'm focusing on four areas, learning to draw portraits, learning to draw the human figure, learning to draw and paint using digital tools, and finally, working on my general drawing skills and increasing my visual library. I work on most of these skills most days, and this week I want to talk to you about what I've been doing recently for the drawing skills and visual library segment of my work. I'll put a link to my previous video on this topic in the description box below. Last week, I was talking about learning to draw portraits and how one of the things that I'd realized was if I want to be able to draw and render portraits in ballpoint pen, I actually need to be more proficient with the ballpoint pen. Now, I know myself pretty well and I tend to procrastinate on things as difficult as drawing portraits. So I decided that rather than letting that ballpoint pen practice sneak into my portrait drawing practice, meaning that I wouldn't draw any portraits, I would just move it and spend the time that I would normally spend on drawing skills on working with those pens and trying to work out what I was capable of and what I needed to learn. As a result, I spent just about 20 hours purely on ballpoint pen practice, and it's exactly the kind of ugly and boring practice that very few people talk about, but which I have to imagine that most people have to do. As a self-taught artist, one of the biggest problems is just not knowing what kind of practice to do and how to make that practice high quality. And I'm sure I get it wrong a lot of the time. With portrait drawing, for example, I seem to spend a lot of time Googling things like how best to practice drawing portraits with really banal results. Generally, people just saying, just draw more, which turns out to be not enormously helpful on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm left trying to guess and often trying to copy what I see in more successful or experienced artists' sketchbook tours when they show them. But I think a lot of those artists must be doing boring, ugly practice that they're not showing people. Either that or they're just insanely talented and I don't have that talent. So I had exactly the same problem with ballpoint pen practice. What do I actually need to do in order to get better with this? And maybe that sounds kind of ridiculous because like most people my age, I've had a ballpoint pen pretty much every day of my life and for sure I've doodled with them a thousand times in the past but I still thought it was really necessary to do. So I don't think that I did myself any harm by spending some time very specifically trying to understand what can a ballpoint pen do? How do I use it? How am I going to produce a range of different marks and rendering levels with this implement that is really very familiar? So most of my practice was really trivial. I'm gonna show it to you on the screen now. It's lots of patches of value, simple shapes. I did a few pages that were actual studies of easy to draw objects, really nothing complex. And most of it is, like I say, really ugly and was pretty boring to do. At the very end, I did do a few studies of a subject that I'm more familiar with. So back in 2021, I spent some time learning some aspects of drawing fabric and draping folds. And you can see some of my work here on screen that I did back in 2021. So I revisited that topic with the ballpoint pen and here's the work that I did. It's a little disappointing to me. I don't think I really managed to get the level of rendering quality that I was looking for. So that really tells me that I haven't really mastered this pen yet and I haven't really got to where I can reliably produce the results that I want with it. In the end, I do feel like the last few weeks has given me a good understanding of the challenges of using the ballpoint pen for rendering and drawing. And it has shown me that I'm going to continue to need to practice and probably I'm not gonna get the results that I'm looking for when I'm doing portraits in the short term, the way that I had hoped. We'll see how I'm able to transition the skills that I've learned doing this practice into portrait drawing and how I'm able to improve them over the year. But for now, it, it was a little disappointing these last few weeks. So this isn't sounding like a very optimistic kind of update, but I think it's really common for people who are near the beginning of learning to draw or to make art of some kind to find these kind of unexpected setbacks. You think you're familiar with something, that it's gonna be a skill that's gonna be easy to learn, and it turns out to just take a lot more time and a lot more effort than you ever expected. So I've met these setbacks before, and I'm hoping that I'm just gonna be able to continue on and not experiences as a big hurdle. Hopefully in a few months or a year or however long it takes, I'll look back and go, oh, okay, that's how much practice it took to actually get good at that. 
my next project on this side of things is much more visual library oriented and it's a topic I'm really excited about learning which is learning to draw birds. So hopefully next time I come to talk to you about this segment of my practice I'm going to have tons of pages of birds to show you and I've had a really good time making them. In the meantime next week I'm going to be back to talk to you about figure drawing and it's been a really fun and action-packed month in figure drawing. I've done lots of different things and I'm looking forward to showing you my work there. So if you're interested in that or any of my other topics, I hope you'll subscribe and come along. Bye for now.